Okay, I had a really nice student leave AP Calc today and said, hey, can you just do this one problem? And without looking, I said, of course not do this one problem. For you, anything, no problem at all. And then I looked, and it was this problem. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so I set it after it. I looked at this. I want to use substitution here. So the method that we're going to use today is substitution. It's use substitution, substitution. So it's substitution. That's what we're going to use here. We're going to use substitution. I uh, went here. I just picked out this piece here, and I was like, you know what? This is a recurring piece. I'm going to pull this out and say, let u equal x plus 1. So we pull out let u equal x plus 1. Realize that we have x is all the place. I'm going to solve this thing in terms of x and get x is equal to u minus 1. While I was there, I took the derivative of this, a derivative of u in terms of x. So du dx is equal to 1, and therefore dx is equal to du. So I gathered up my replacement pieces, and now what I did, if you can see right below me in, in, uh, in orange, I set up a skeleton here, and I'm going to actually just use that this way. Every place uh, that I found x plus 1, I'm going to put in u. So it's going to look like this, I think, isn't it? Uh, every time, I, every place I found x, I'm going to put in u minus 1. So here's a u minus 1 here. Uh, every place I found x plus 1, I'll put in u, right? Put in u. And there was an x plus 1 here, so that's a u also, isn't it? So it's so far so good. Uh, this whole thing is in terms of u, and in fact, dx is du, so du. All right, so far, so good. And from here, I thought everything was going pretty well. So I started out after it, and then just gave up altogether. Yeah. It's struggling, man. It's struggling mightily. So if you just start to work on this a little bit. Uh, what I did here was I just factored. I factored this out, right? This is actually just this mess here, isn't it? So I factored this out, and what I factored out was square root u. So I did this negative, obviously u minus one to the top. I still have that thing, right? I'm still taking the indefinite integral here, but here I factored out square root u times square root u minus 1, and see if that doesn't work, right? This is the 1 half, this is to the 1 half, so I'm going to multiply it. See, I would get this thing I'm looking for here, wouldn't I? So here's where it gets starts getting a little bit weird. This is still in terms of du. Hopefully you're with me. This is, I'm just fact. I just factored this and got pulled this out, and I think that worked. The next piece, it got a little bit weird, and I, I really do get that. Um, so this is what I did here. I'm going to factor this, and it's hard to imagine this as difference of squares, but this, I'm going to create this in difference of squares. Difference of squares here. So I'm going to rewrite this piece right here, this piece in green right here. I'm going to rewrite this, if you don't mind. I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of u minus 1 times the square root of u plus 1. If you'd like to stop the tape right now, go ahead, stop, and go ahead and foil this. But if you foil this... You'll find out that when you foil this out, you're going to get this thing back. So take a second, stop the thing, and, and check that out. So anyway, this is what I. These are my new replacement pieces. I guess uh, the other thing I did from here is I started to work on this. It's just starting to starting to work on this a little bit. So here I'm going to this negative sign right here. This negative sign is this. I'm going to bring it out. And that negative sign is that one. And then I'm going to replace this stuff at the top. I'm going to have square root u. Right, the square root of u minus 1 times the square root of u plus 1. Again, if we multiply this back together, we're going to get that piece back there, right? But look what happens magically is that we get square root u here times square root u minus, sorry, minus 1. And I think you can see we have these matching factors here, don't we? This one and this one. So that's, where I'm, that's what I'm going for here is that, that this factor here, that this factor right here is this one right here. And therefore, they cancel, don't they? So 
so far so good I hope I mean I get it not so far so good but anyway I'm just gonna keep rewriting this thing and say okay now I have this I have square root u plus 1 there's nothing to multiply it by so these parentheses are satisfied over square root u all this should have been du I apologize du here du here right because I'm not we're not integrating just yet so we just keep working our way down here. I think it's actually, hopefully it's going to start making sense in just a second why we're doing it the way we are. There's a little, the algebra was a little bit tricky, but we're okay. All right, then I'm seeing this this way. Now I'm seeing this this way. Yeah. I'm seeing square root u over square root u. That's this over this. This plus sign here is this plus sign, 1 over square root u, right? Okay. And then I'm going to move it down a little bit more here. All right, du, this whole thing, du. All right, so I'm going to just keep working on this. Square root u over square root u is 1. 1 over square root u is u to the negative 1 half power. Can we agree on that? 1 half power, du. Finally, friends, guess what we get to do? Yes, we get to integrate. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start to integrate. So we're going to integrate here. Remember, please, when you, the integration sign is the promise that you're going to do something. You say, I'm, I, my intention is to take the integral of this with respect to that. But when you integrate, you're fulfilling your promise. So the, the integral comes down. So this negative sign is this one. But now I'm going to start to integrate. And this, of course, the, right, if I integrate if I integrate this, this goes to u, doesn't it? This goes to u to the 1 half over 1 half, right? u to the 1 half over 1 half. Remember now, we're integrated, so now plus c, right? Plus c, so keep working, keep working, keep working. Simplify this, we get... Uh, equals negative u minus, look, this thing comes up as it's reciprocal, doesn't it? Minus 2 u to the 1 half plus c. Isn't that right? Now I'm flipping my page over, Charlotte. I'm still working. Uh, from here, now I'm going to go back and resubstitute. I'm going to go back and resubstitute here. So here's my resubstitute, resubstitute. And so we had this negative here, and u is equal to x plus 1, isn't it? So there's that x plus 1. That's 2 times x plus 1 to the 1 half power plus c. Isn't that right? Uh, we can distribute this in, and we get negative x minus 1 minus 2 times x plus 1. Uh, and actually, if you don't mind, I'm going to actually turn this into a square root now. Might as well clean, start cleaning my mess up a little bit. So square root. Is that okay? All right, uh, plus C at the end, of course. Just to make this look a little bit cleaner, uh, probably what I would do is I'd take this negative 1 and I'd put it out here, so I'd have negative X minus 2 times the square root of X plus 1. This negative 1 right here, I'm just, move, I'm just cleaning it up. This negative 1 right here is this one, negative 1 right here, isn't it? Right there, plus C. This cleans up uh, a lot, doesn't it, from here, which would be actually getting really big. So this is a constant. This becomes our new constant, doesn't it? Right, and then, and then from there, just to finally clean it up, finally get it all cleaned up, is negative. Square root, yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm talking to myself now. That's how crazy this is starting to make me. Plus C. All right, so there's my solution. I hope that that worked out good for you. I hope that worked out really good for you. And if you're asking me how difficult that was, Pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. Okay. 
Hope that was helpful, and I hope you watch the whole video. See if your answer matches mine.